Recently, I've been spending a lot more time on social media, scrolling through Instagram, binging YouTube, and getting lost in the TikTok algorithm. I've never been more distracted when working, less present in conversations, and less in tune with my own thoughts and surroundings. So I challenged myself to live seven days without any dopamine. This meant no social media, no digital entertainment, no porn, no junk food, and no music. This might just be the hardest challenge of my life, but I'll see you in the morning. Off to the gym now, and I won't be needing these. Cry. Literally, listening to music is my favorite part of the work. That was a great workout. Uh, I was a lot more focused. Probably because when I listen to music, it sometimes turns into a bit of a dance party. I just came back from a dog walk, which was so peaceful. Normally I listen to a podcast or something, but this time I literally just listened to like the sounds of nature and it was so lovely. I already found myself doing things I wouldn't normally do to fill the time. I spent time visualizing, journaling in the middle of the day and playing a lot more with my dog. Oh, you're so cute. I've got an exciting day planned. I met up with some friends in London, we chilled and caught up and it was really nice. What's happened to the weather? What's all this? Are you serious UK? Sorry mum, no music in the car allowed, only the sound of the rain. <laughs> Look who it is! <laughs> Just to see me? No. Yeah, I miss you. We went out for a meal and they all got dessert except for me. So instead of staring at a wall all day, um, me and my family are playing golf for the first time ever. Go on, I believe in you, Dad. In a straight line. How are you feeling? Feeling ready. Woo! Nice! <laughs> no. Both of you are in the sand pit. Oh, I thought it was, it was a nice shot though. I've just run a bath, which uh, I'm chilling in now. But today has been a great day. Uh, I felt good. so at peace. I uh, <laughs> played golf, which I sucked at, let's be honest. <laughs> um, I walked in nature, I read, I edited a bit. Um, like I stared into the depths of my soul for like an hour. <laughs> it's crazy just letting your mind run wild. And honestly, I think our devices nowadays just distract us from our own thoughts, which I don't always think is good. Honestly, this morning I woke up feeling so refreshed. Um, this challenge has brought like a mental clarity I've never experienced before. And it's quite crazy. Just allowing my mind to process everything that's going on without any distractions and experiencing those moments of boredom. I feel I'm so like it's, bored. it's doing wonders for me. I've never felt so it's creative, so, so productive and just so positive. But like you don't notice the negativities that scrolling through Instagram or clicking on a notification can have. So today is a special day because my mum is joining me by doing a dopamine detox for 24 hours. Exactly. Are you excited for it? Uh, I can't say I'm excited. I'm aware there's a lot of resistance. Normally, mum wakes up by watching Love Island, uh, um, <laughs> but not today, not today. Uh, now my mum is going to give me a yoga class. Uh, perks of having a mum that is a yoga instructor. Don't think many people can flex like that. The left side. So start Mum, how have you found today? Actually, I had a lot of extra time today, mm -hmm. which is good. Are you happy you did the dopamine detox today? Mm. I want to do it again a little bit longer. Yeah, like seven days. Well, seven is a long time. Yeah. yeah. Instead of investing my time in other people's lives as you would on social media, this challenge has forced me to put my whole energy into mine. Instead of clicking on a story that would deepen my connection with someone I might never even meet, I've invested more time and energy into the connections closest around me. 
It's the final day of this challenge and I honestly can't believe it's drawing to a close. I feel like it's taught me so much. When I started this challenge only seven days ago, I couldn't sit still without the urge to check how many likes my recent got or to see what people were up to. I couldn't work out without the need to pump out some tunes and I couldn't talk to my family without thinking about the latest trend on TikTok. But over these last seven days, I've completely reset my mind. I've become more present to my surroundings. I've learned to appreciate the little things a lot more and I felt a lot more at peace. I think we've gotten so used to the added noise we allow into our life that we forget the value of stillness and tranquility. I am very grateful I've done this challenge and I would recommend it to anyone watching.